Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Thick Man. If you enjoy this video, please travel to North Korea and have a few cold ones with Kim Jong-un. When he gets a bit tipsy, suggest he embrace the lighter side of being an immoral dictator and have him force his people to subscribe to me and watch my videos on repeat, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Today we'll be returning to the peaceful gated community known as Whittleton Creek, where they let anyone live so long as they're white. I mean like a, a white collared worker. Now last time we were here, we killed an evil ex KGB Soviet Union agent and his head of security, but today we must take down someone much, much worse. Helen West. She's a sweet old lady who bakes cupcakes and our client has asked that she dies by incineration. Jesus Christ, are we really going to burn a sweet old lady alive? Well, I guess there's something a little bit off about Helen. Like, is she a sweet in the streets, freak in the sheets type or something? Either way, I'm going to slay that naughty mamazito. And I mean that literally. This trip is for work, not pleasure. Anyway, we've gone for a classic suburban looking polo shirt, juxtaposed with leather gloves that scream, howdy neighbor, I'm an assassin. We're armed with a pistol, a quadruple dose of gamer subs that we'll probably snort later, and a briefcase with a sniper rifle in it. So right now I'm just trying to loosen up and stretch Agent 47's glutes out a bit before we kill this old lady. Unfortunately, this inconsiderate jogger is doing her best to make me look like a creeper. Oh man. Also, jogging this close to someone is probably socially unacceptable anyway. You know, personal space and not being a pervert or whatever, and so I decide I'll stretch the old legs out later and get to work. The good news is I'm familiar with this neighborhood, so I make my way over to Helen's house. Her love of making muffins has clearly taken off, and it's so cool to see someone's passion turn into an actual business. Like stoners who decide to start selling weed, it's bloody inspirational stuff. Helen's house isn't that well guarded. She's got a muff employee roaming around and a couple of gardeners, but nothing we can't handle. I make my way inside quickly to do a little bit of recon. I've got to find Helen and find a way to burn her. I find her quickly, but not in a professional stealthy hitman way. It's more of a caught red-handed, forgot to use Google Chrome incognito kind of way. She runs to get help and all I can think is, damn Helen, I can't wait to scold your ass this afternoon. And again, I mean that literally. Plus anyway, Agent 47 is cultured and sophisticated and so prefers older women. Like I'm talking about women who are over 85 and have a sexy little thing called life experience. If you didn't live through World War II, don't even talk to him. I hide out on Helen's roof for a moment while the heat dies down and stumble across the perfect little sniper nest. This should be a good place to scout out the area a bit and try to gather some valuable intelligence. You see, the way to become a master assassin is to know your surroundings before you make a move, says the guy who just got caught by his target in her living room. I start scoping around a bit and then bam, there she is again. What is this jogger's problem? It's like she's trying to get me in trouble or something. I'm just trying to innocently survey the street, but wherever I look, it's just thick city. Like maybe in 60 years, give me a call, but girl, trying to serenade me with your jogging just isn't going to work. Then in one of the most noble acts the world has ever seen, I leap from the rooftop like a gazelle. If this jogger is going to insist on ruining this mission, I'll just have to take her out. I scope in and take my shot, eliminating the young lass, and now maybe we can get some goddamn work done. But what happens next shook me. Like literal chills, and not in a just listen to Africa by Toto kind of way, in a scary way. The jogger rises up, seemingly unfazed by the bullet I just fired straight into her. Oh my god, she is so thick the bullets didn't even do anything. Agent 47's weakness always has been that ass, but come on, this booty is better than a Kevlar vest. When the major military powers find out about all this, the soldiers are going to have to spend hours a day squatting, lunging, and smashing the stair machine so they can get thick enough to survive a 50 caliber round. They'll be running backwards at their enemies basically bulletproof. Okay, wow, let's get back to burning Helen. I decide to take out one of the gardeners so I can get into the house undetected. At this point, I'm not too phased about a clean mission, I just want that frag. I take out the first gardener, and of course he's ethnic. Oh my god, that is just so damn disgustingly realistic, I feel like I'm actually there. The second gardener proceeds to start shooting at me, and so I take him down. It turns out the gardeners were actually some sort of security undercover team. Well then, Helen West, what are you hiding? I take the gardener outfit, hide the bodies, and then head towards the house. Given what just went down, I decide to chill for a minute and just blend in by unenthusiastically filling this bag one leaf at a time like I was hourly, which again is very realistic and immersive. I head inside, but this time prepared and immediately find Helen. So I've got to try and figure out a way to burn this woman alive, but wait, 
It didn't actually say she had to burn alive, that was just my creative mind. So I head down to the garage and take her fire extinguisher. I hope whoever buys this house after Helen dies and the property is sold on, replaces that or otherwise I'm just going to feel terrible if a fire starts and I'd taken the only extinguisher. I head into the kitchen and smack Helen in the head with it and then drag her body into the garage. Funnily enough, this is actually how my girlfriend and I got together in real life. But anyway, Helen's employee is snooping around a little too much for my liking and so I decide I best take him out. I grab a shovel from out the back and head inside. It's the simple things in life that matter the most, like for example failing this mission because apparently I'm not allowed to eliminate or pacify any civilians. Wow okay, I suppose the racially stereotyped gardeners were actually a hit squad and therefore not civilians, and the jogging girl had a bulletproof booty and survived so yeah, I guess this was the first civilian. So it's time to restart, but now we have a lot more intel, so this time I'm feeling good. Also, this might be the first ever time I get the silent assassin rating because I'm strictly not allowed to kill any civilians, which, you know, is kind of my thing. I decide before we head to Muff Mansion, we will scout out the neighborhood again and try to find something that can help us burn Helen. It seems like one of the neighbors is having a garden party and so I decide to crash it. Now despite being ripped, Agent 47 is sadly a virgin. You see, being designed and constructed to be the perfect killing machine has made it incredibly difficult for him to get laid and so this could be a great place to meet girls. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any gilfs here so we'll have to try our luck with some boomers. They say confidence is key and so I decide to approach the first woman I see. I tell her, Hey there, I can see you're a naughty girl walking through those flowers. Would you like to come back to my place and have the sex with me? She proceeds to hastily walk away. It's important to handle rejection like a man and so later on tonight I'll spam her with hate messages accusing her of leading me on and hating nice guys. I find another lady and decide this time to be more open and honest and say, Hey there, I kill people for money, would you like to grab brunch? She finds this amusing until I tell her I'm not joking and then it gets awkward and so I just leave. I try one last time and decide to use my secret weapon. I tell her that my kill death ratio in Battlefield is 3.64 and she says oh my god come back later this afternoon after everyone has left. I'm like yeah nah yeah nah yeah nah nah yeah nah yeah 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 alright cool I'll see you later this avo. On my way back over to Helen's house this politician annoys me and so I shoot him and have to restart again. Anyone who works in Australian politics should look out because I recently learned that us impressionable gamers will probably try and replicate the things we do in video games in real life so yeah. I'm coming for you. So third time's the charm. I actually don't know why they say that. I feel like if you've already failed twice you should probably just give up because you clearly suck but anyway, I head towards Helen's as it's time to take the big girl down. I slip past the gardeners and into the kitchen and choke her out. I also grab the key to her house and then just like earlier, I drag her unconscious body into the garage but not in the romantic way. Now it's time to find ourselves a way to burn her so that we can complete the contract and get that bread. My plan is to systematically search each one of these houses in the area until I find something of use starting with Helen's place. I head down into her basement and it's a bit creepy. It reminds me of something that rhymes with vape dungeon which sadly is also probably a real thing. It's also got those weird plastic curtains that I swear you can only buy if you're a serial killer or own a deli. And this is quite a contrast to the lovely pink decor upstairs. It seems to be some kind of laboratory with cupcakes and muffins scattered around but let's give her the benefit of the doubt and say she she just prefers to bake her scrumptious treats in a dark, moist, terrifying basement. Most importantly though, there's a furnace down here. I head back upstairs to grab her, but then the employee I tried to pacify with the shovel earlier comes into the kitchen. Words can't describe how much I want to kill this man, but as we've learned, this is an escalation contract with extra rules and so we can't. Now this required me to be more patient than a Half-Life fan. I had to look deep within my soul and find the willpower not to grab a kitchen knife and throw it into his skull. After what seems like 3000 years, the Muffin Man leaves and so I grab Helen and drag her towards the basement and besides a close call with a gardener, we make it down without too much trouble. I'm about to dump her in the furnace, but then I notice something in one of the jars. Yup, that's a brain in a jar, she's a psychopath, I no longer feel guilty about this anymore. 
Well, actually, I never really did. She's also got poison down here, and Jesus, let's just get this over with. I dump Helen into the furnace and cremate her for the GG contract complete, and look, there is the Silent Assassin rating as well. I love just messing around in this game, but if you would like, I could try to get Silent Assassin every now and again. Just let me know in the comments. A few of you also asked how they can be notified when I'm streaming on Twitch. Well, I tweet out every time I go live, so if you wanted a notification, you could follow me on Twitter and then turn them on. Both my Twitch and my Twitter are linked in the description of this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching you legends, and the next video will be a Sons of Virgins. I also wanted to say a massive thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel, and who without, I genuinely couldn't be doing this. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.